Hello, this is Kareen from Shakes Bakes. Right now, I'm going to show you how to cook with eggplant. Now, eggplant is one of the only produce uh, items that I know that can be cooked any sort of way that I'm familiar with. It doesn't matter if you're having a bonfire or you're frying it up or whatever the case is, eggplant is very versatile. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to use the meat from a grilled eggplant, uh, and it was actually grilled indoors, in order to make baba ganoush. That's going to, of course, require our eggplant and a few other items and also a food processor. A homemade tahini sauce, two cloves of garlic, two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. We have some fresh parsley, salt and pepper, a quarter teaspoon each and some honey just to balance out any bit of bitterness that the eggplant might have. We're using our food processor today, a spoon, and we can get started. So I'm going to be putting this eggplant into the food processor. After I grilled the eggplant, I actually drained it off for about a half an hour to get off some of the liquids that were in there. Here's the garlic. This is my homemade sauce, nice and fresh. The last ingredient I'm going to add right now is my lemon juice. I'm going to actually start pulsing this up. As you see, looking good. That's about good. A few seconds, I'm going to scrape down the sides. I'm going to add a couple more ingredients. I'm going to season with salt and pepper. Try to get it all around. Squeezes of honey in here, and we'll start her rolling again. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna grab my fresh parsley. Just gonna add it to the mix. See how well that gets incorporated in there. Mm, can you say yum, yum, yum? So here's your baba ganoush. 